Hello everyone. This is Wednesday and this is going to be like a part two of what I did yesterday. We're going to be unmolding these but I also have a fairly large Timu order which I believe are all molds and we're going to do that too. And I also picked up a few things at the Dollar Tree uh, today so I will show you that too. Of course we're going to get started with these and this is the set I was doing as a giveaway. And there's really no surprise to these. I hope. I hope they look like they do. Oh, yeah. There, that's nice. There's one little tiny piece. Oh, that came right off. Okay, cool. And they're sort of transparent. But a little, let, let me bring it up the next one okay I thought about doing these for a giveaway because um, I really liked uh, the the heat transfer I actually bought a big one to go on a t-shirt uh, for myself but there's that one And I did dome them a little bit. And there's a little bit of lip here. So I'll, I'll have to take the deburring tool a little bit. There's that one. And they set all night long. I did not put these back on the heat mat after I put the top coat. I just looked. Oh no. Oh, there's an imperfection right there. I'm going to point it out now. Right there. Let's see, yeah, see the little white speck? Come on, focus. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> it's where a piece uh, didn't go through. And that's the back. So the backs are not that pretty. But that's okay, you don't, you know. Oh, I could put cork, but if I put cork, then it's going to change it. Uh, we'll look at it. I'll run and get some cork and see what it would look like. So, that's those. That's the edges. Oh, yeah, this one didn't. This one's sort of wonky, too. But it's still okay. Yeah, these are definitely imperfect which is exactly like me they're imperfect so whoever wins these uh just note that they're not going to be perfect and if you don't want something imperfect then i would suggest you not enter the giveaway <laughs> uh, oh that's not oh i forgot this is a pain in the butt when I took it out before and uh, the mold was soft then the mold is not soft anymore let me get this one leg out and I know you can't see me but I'm trying to just get one out okay and let's see if that doesn't help get the other No, not really. It does not. It's these legs that are goodness. Well, at least I don't have to worry about bending it. Tell you what, that's not an easy mold to get out of there. Where to bend back once you do? I 
I would suggest if you have mold like this to use mold release because that is a pain right there. Okay, and that's what that looks like. Let's set these in here. Oh, I like that set. I do. All except for where I we can put that on the bottom. Let's put that one on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, so you don't notice it at all. You can tell where some of them came up. But that's okay. You can't really tell it on the front. So, yes, this is this is gonna go out to somebody. Um, I'm gonna do a giveaway on this, even though this is gonna be over a pound. As small as it is, it is. I think I can ship it out pretty. Oh, uh, let's see. If it goes over two pounds, I'm not going to be able to ship it out internationally. And so let's find out right now. Box and all. So this is without. No. Uh, that's 13.1 without any packaging. Oh, there's no way I can keep that up underneath a pound. And if I ship it over a pound internationally, it goes up to like 20, 24 bucks for that. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I don't want to close the, the giveaway off to just the United States. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do this particular set uh, just the United States because of the weight. Because I know by the time that I put the packing in the box it's going to go over the pound. Uh, so what I'll do is if somebody wins out of the United States, I will do something else, and I'll show that before the contest is over. And uh, the if it's out of the United States, I will ship the other item. I've, I've just got to make sure that it is under uh, a pound. Because at a pound, it's going to cost right at between 13 and sixteen dollars if it's a pound or under to to go internationally so um this set right here is u.s only uh because of the weight but i don't want to close the contest down so um i will have another item not this but another item for um international if that's who wins it okay and it'll only be one drawing one person uh, for this right here. I'm going to do this more often there, y'all. Um, oh, wow. Oh, and I went ahead and did this, too. And I just did this in clear. But look at there. I have poured that a lot. All the way around. Let's see if I can't... Cut most of this and then just use the deburring tool on the rest. And oh, yes, that's nice. I don't mind using the deburring tool, but I like to get as much as the excess off as possible. And I see one bubble, 
one bubble, y'all. Nope, two. One right there and one right there. Hell, oh well. I still like it. And then here's the little plate stand. I did too because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go glitzy. So I did one that's sort of glitzy, and then I did one that's not quite so glitzy. That way. I don't know. Either way, I absolutely love that. Look how sweet that is. And, and of course, I have to. Um, and I will probably do gold trim on it. Well, let's just do this now. So you can see something finished. Yes, I know there's a bubble. And I hate that. I'm just wondering if I should use this or if I should use, I don't want to go too far. I should just use a little bit of sanding paper. Because it's not that much and I don't want to, I don't want to cut into it. very much okay maybe it's better this way i'm not putting much pressure on this at all because i just want to get Hmm. Yes, I still have to get sandpaper. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have to put a little bit of um, More resin, I think. Let's see. Okay, let me get the the gold pen out. Don't like these as well as I like the uh, the deco art, but and I can't do this where you can see me doing it. I don't think, but we'll try. I'm holding it at a like a 45 degree angle and I don't want to do the whole edge I like the fact that it's clear and this one's not perfect either but I can tell you right now that I don't ever do perfection I have fun. 
and I create wonderful, wonderful things, but none of them are perfect. Okay. So, that one. Or that one. What do y'all think? That's hard to do. Uh, okay. Or that one. Which stand, y'all? Let me know in the comments which stand. Okay. So, we got those two items out of the way. Let me move these molds. Because I can tell you right now, we got a bunch in the Timu haul. But let's finish this. I actually got my little wire table cleared off a little bit. I got a little knife. Oh, and this place is like, oh, there it is. It's way up underneath here. And I'm not going to get in my hands and my knees I'm trying to get it. So it's, it's just up underneath there right now. <clears throat> And what I was going to tell you earlier when I said, oh, by the way, I'm drinking water. No, it's just plain water. These are thermal cups. I bought those at the <clears throat> Dollar Tree. And when they get cold, they turn pink. It gives me the illusion of drinking something other than water. I don't like water. Uh, this is the little bitty one and the big one. Now, y'all know, I've only poured one where the head stayed on. That was the green one. Now I have the black one that I glued the head onto, but the head came off. I'm hoping maybe I can keep the head on these. They sit in the mold all night long. So I'm hoping maybe Ah, I don't like that piece, though, but I guess it's in there now unless I want to cut it out. But my X-Acto knife just went on the floor, so. Darn. I guess if you're going to do this, you need to do this. Before it gets hard. Oh, really? I may have messed this up. I know y'all are saying, oh, don't cut it that way. You're cutting it toward yourself. And you're right. Don't y'all do this. <laughs> but... This knife is really, really dull. And I am pointing it down, not... I need a pair of pliers. And that's a small one, which tells me I'm not going to get... The big one, I don't like that thing in between. It's like it doesn't belong there. So it needs to go away. I need a pair of pliers. Just went flying. Okay. Let's 
and to get rid of that I can put a little bit of UV resin but I'd much rather see to me that looks so much better than having that thing there it's like just doesn't look like it belongs there So, okay, and I can put a little bit of UV rose in there to get that cleaned up. So, we have one. Oh, and it's, do you see the glitter in there? It's just a hint. Oh, but that's, that's very pretty. Why is that not working? My phone is being weird. Okay, you can see it now. Yeah, there's just a little bit. Okay, cool. This is the bigger one. The whole thing comes out of really nicely except for the head maybe i should do this part for <gasps> ow oh i just mm -mm -mm. i don't want to show that on camera but yes yeah, so i just cut myself sorry y'all uh Don't do that. This these things are sharp. That is sharp right there. This is why I normally wear gloves too. And if I thought about getting these out, I would have wore the gloves. Okay, take the nose off first, y'all. And then take the ears off. The nose should come first, and then the ears. And I'm not going to worry about that piece right there, right now. I'll get it later. Okay. Oh, those are cute. See? A little big. Those are cute. Okay. And I am going to put a glove on. Let me, let me do this. And then I'm going to get a glove on my... If I can get a glove over it. See if I can get a glove over it. Good enough. Okay. I got one glove on and one glove off. And I know I'm really close up. But because I'm showing y'all. Little bitty ones. This is over poured too. Right there. I gotta. Yeah, this is gonna be stickler for bubbles, little air bubbles. So I didn't do it this time, but next time I pour this, I'm gonna do it with, I'm gonna put alcohol down in there. I think that's the only way I'm going to get it where it's not got bulk. It's just one, and it's right there. That's better than the last time I did it. Right there. Yeah, 
and I have a little bit of yeah see that's where the air bubble is right there let me focus on that yeah right there and then I have a little overage right there right there and a little tiny bit right there okay this little crystal I don't know why I don't make these more I've got a bunch of them and these would be really cool to have oh yeah oh this would be cool to have to put on stuff that's not a really tiny crystal either that's a fairly large crystal oh wow you could put a little thing in there and you could have a necklace right there I'm going to have to remember this mold. Here's another crystal. Oh, that's sharp right there. Y'all don't do like I do. Wear gloves when you're taking these off. Oh, this is the matte one. This is one I didn't understand was always matte. But I could always UV resin it, so... It's still a cool looking crystal, even though it's matte. Look at how it looks darker in some areas. and That's a cool crystal right there. A little bitty tiny, but... Oh, and these birds. You know, I love these. I've got... F um, I think five of them that I did in the really deep blue uh, with a big chunky glitter these come out good once you get them these are these are such pretty little let me do it with this hand so you can see yeah and they're they're light they're translucent when the light hits them which I, yeah, I like these. I would like to have a whole set of these and in every color of my glitter. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I'm going to do that, y'all. I think I'm going to, I think later tonight, I'm going to take, I, I've got Buku's of glitter. I do. And I think I'm going to have them all, all the way across the top of my shelf up here. Yeah, you can't see it, but you can hear it. It's above where my camera is. And have them in every color of every glitter that I have. Oh, that would be cool. And then show show you a, a video of what they look like up there. Oh, that would be awesome. They're all going to be the same. And you can use these as little knobs. You can use them as accents. You can, you know, there's so many things you can use these with. And this mold right here, and I, I got them off of Timu. Uh, shortly after I started buying from Timu, I got several of these bird molds. Uh, because I really like birds. And I think, you know, for most of them, I paid like 67 cents. It was not much. This is the double one. Well, I call it the double one. It's one bird, but it's it's a fat bird. It's a different type of bird. That's what that one looks like. See? That's the difference. Seeing them side by side, you can tell. And then, of course, my skeleton heads. I hadn't poured one of these in a long time, and I love these things. And that's weird, because I'm not a skeleton-type person. But there's just something about these heads. Oop. I think they're cute. <clears throat> and they do sell really good. 
And I need to drink more water. Hold on a minute, y'all. <clears throat> okay. This is just going to pop out, too. Nope, maybe not. Oh, cool. It didn't go flying across the room. Yeah, I sell these for $3 a piece at the craft fair. I don't do anything to them. I just, you know, I use, if I have glue, uh, uh, resin left over, uh, I pour them. And then I don't do anything to them. And I just stick, stick them out at the craft fairs. And people love them. Now, I did do one set one time, uh, uh, like it was a Mr. or Mrs. or King and Crank, uh, Queen, and I put a crown on one, and then I forgot what I put on the, it was a different thing on the head, and I sold those for, I think it was six, and I sold every one of those I had, too, but see, that's, that's the same thing, uh, two of them. But it was just, you, you sew two of them together instead of just uh, one for three. But it doesn't take, it's not like I, I do them, sit down and think, okay, I'm going to pour some skeleton heads today. No, it's always, because I have resin left over. Wow, we got all that demolded. Without much problem. And if I hadn't cut myself, it would have been great. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this. That's a mushroom house. And I sure wish I hadn't done it in brown. But I thought, well, if I do it in brown, then uh, I won't have to color quite so much. I am going to have to color the whole thing. But I could get some highlights. And for the third time, let me tell you, because I did not share this, and I've tried two times before. The oh, by the way thing that I said one the first time and the second time, and I didn't finish, is that Mixed Mold reached out to me today through email, thanking me for all my videos that I had did with their product, which um, I did only because I love the product that they have never contacted me before prior to that and they said that they would like to send me some mix to mold uh as a thank you and i thought oh that's fantastic because i do love uh their casting powders um and so i i was excited about that and that was today when i got the email so we'll see but if it comes in i will show you i won't um pack it i will show you on uh a video exactly what i get sent but it is nice and it is exciting when when you do something and the uh actual uh company reaches out to you and does that okay here we go and i am really okay with this i use the j diction uh resin crate color uh, and I always get that with a J. Well, most of the time I do. But, I, you know, I'm okay with that. And I told y'all that uh, when I use the J Diction, I know that it's pretty much going to do this. But I like that because it looks organic and natural. And this is a mushroom. Um, I will uh, use that as part of my design. Uh, but I will be painting over the majority of it. But doing it with their brown pigment... Uh, just adds a, a a different element, and I hope I don't have bubbles in this, because I was popping a bunch of bubbles out of this coming up. They were popping up through the front. And that's what it looks like. And so far, so far, no air bubbles. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, no air bubbles. Okay.
and that's what it looks like on right there it's really a cool mold and I really like this one and this is heavy in this but I've sold every one of these that I, I made and it was always casting powder I never did them in resin I don't know why um, and I think it would be cool to make a candle uh, with one and I think that's probably what I'll do Now, if somebody had a candle company where they sold candle supplies, the wax and stuff, if I could get them to send me free products, <laughs> that would be great. That does not happen very often for me. But when it does, I am very, very appreciative and very, very grateful because it does definitely help my channel a lot. That's material I don't have to go out and buy. And as all of you are very much aware, crafting materials are not uh, cheap. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I think I got everything. And we're going to start with the dull stuff first, and that's the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Uh, and some of it is just stuff, okay? And if I'd remembered I got those, I would have cleaned my uh, uh, finger off with that. I got the, let me, yeah, we got to go to one. <clears throat> the antibacterial hand wipes. I did get uh, those. Let me try that. There's no need for me to wear gloves. And I'll let you know if it burns like fire. How do you get that off? Hmm. Seriously. Okay. Well, this is goofy. I can't get the top off, y'all. But in order to get... The top's got to come off. Somehow. Oh, the top. Oh. oh, darn. I just did it again with my... Thumb. Let's have aloe and vitamin E. No sulfates. No whatever that word is. No, none of those. Okay. Kills 99% of germs. It's 0.13% benzoconium chloride. I don't know what that is. But that's it. Oh, wow, it's sort of soothing, actually. It doesn't burn. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is sort of soothing. Yeah, my fingers are all messed up. And it is crafting. And you all know that I wear gloves, so it's not... From not wearing gloves. But yeah, I thought I'd try these out and I think I'll probably be uh, buying more. BioPure, the Dollar Tree. It's distributed by Quest USA in Flatbush. Oh, I know Flatbush Avenue. I've been on that street before. I think my son lived on Flatbush Avenue when he was in college. I'm going to have to ask him, but I think so. 
And of course, I had I got more cups. These are the cups that I use, and I absolutely love these cups. I wish I could find the same cups on Amazon for a lot cheaper price. Because I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a minute. Does it say on the front? Ten, yeah. I get ten in each package, and I always buy two. <clears throat> but they last me a while, so I guess that's okay. And I put them up here. And then, of course, those paper cups. And, of course, you've seen me use these, and I keep these in my drawer down here. And then baby wipes. I hadn't been using baby wipes in a long time, and I don't know if I will, but some things clean up easier with these, so I thought I'd just get a pack. And these right here, I got these to make a mold out of but they're plastic so I'm not quite sure if that's going to be doable oh but don't you think th those are going to be adorable if I can pull it off but they're they're squishy plastic you know they're like those little duck toys and I've never made a mold out of something like this so if you have and if you know that it works okay let me know Please, because I would love to do that soon. But that's what I bought these for. And then I got excited about this. And yes, I bought every color they had. Every one they had. I, I just got that to use. It's, it's a pretty purple duct tape. And, and it's a little bit heavier than the packing tape, and I like the purple. So, I'm going to just keep that over here on my desk. And yes, I bought that stuff, and now it's getting everywhere. You'll see it in a minute. But it's it's shedding. Okay, that's the purple one. Look at that. It's holographic tape. It's holographic. That feels lighter. That feels heavier. Oh, and it is. Look at there. That is crazy. Do you see the difference? It says it's the same. Oh no, this is seven yards. Oh wow, that's crazy. They're all the same. But the purple is only five. But yeah. And then I got it in silver. Look at that. A dollar and a quarter, y'all, for holographic duct tape. Then I got the green. And then I got the red. They did not have blue. I wish they had have had blue. But yeah, I bought every color they had. We're definitely going to be doing something with those. And I'm going to put them down here. Yeah, I'm trying to clean up as we go. I have found that is the best way for me. Okay, this is the stuff that is making a mess. And it, it, it has. It has made a major mess. It's coming out the top. The floral moss. And, you know, for a dollar and a quarter. For that big of a bag. Yep. That was a no-brainer for me. But now there's a mess all in here. Let me shake this stuff off and throw the bag away. I like it gets inside things so. though. Okay. I bought these stamp blocks.
for a dollar and a quarter. That's a good price. Acrylic. That's a really good price. So I bought two of those. And then I bought these. They're sort of holographic too. Do you see that? And I thought, oh, this would be cool to put on stuff. And I only bought one and I probably should have bought more. But, yeah. And then I got these. I don't know why. When I saw them, I thought, huh, I should be able to do something. They're called plant clips. And I thought, oh, I should be able to utilize these in my crafting somehow. And you get so many of them for a dollar and a quarter. And they're different sizes. See, look at there. I could think of a lot of different things because of that ring right there. You see that? I could hang them up on my little, where I used to keep paper towels and clip things to it. Yeah, I'm glad I got these. And, and you get small ones. I think it's a total of 26. But then you have the bigger ones. And then the smaller ones. So, yeah. I'll let you know what I, I uh, use these for. And if y'all have, you know, have any ideas, put it down in the comments. Y'all have got some great ideas. And I love hearing them. Plant clips. Who would have thought? Not me until today. Okay, now the exciting part. That's that's all I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, now the Timu haul. I was hoping my AliExpress order would come in too. You see how big that bag is? It's so big, I'm going to have to put it over here. And open it from over there. And yes, I can tell you, I think everything in that bag is molds. And it's been a while, so I don't remember what molds they are. I could tell you what molds I got from AliExpress. Because that was just about nine days ago but this has been almost a month ago so I I forget I think these are the ones that I got where I'm going to start doing a using to uh, decoupage and uh, put on a lot of different things along with casting powders oh yeah it is And I'm not going to open these. I think you can see them. Uh, if the glare gets in the way or you can't see them, then I will. I'm trying to adjust the light on the camera just a little bit. And lock it in. You see the detail in that? I mean, it's even got a little, you see that little, It's I'm pushing it down. That's going to leave a hole when you pour that. That's going to leave a little hole right there. Oh, that's just awesome. And look at, look at how it's on a flat. You see how this is? Normally a mold would just end right there. That's wild. Oh, yeah. we. I wished my polyurethane resin had come in. I ordered it uh, four days ago, and it was supposed to be here the next day. The next day. And here I am on the fourth day still waiting for it to come in on uh, Amazon. I don't know what's up with Amazon. Oh, yeah. All these are good mold, y'all. 
Look at the angels. Do you see them? You can see the detail through the plastic, so I'm just going to leave the plastic on for right now. Oh, uh, I wish the polyurethane resin had come in because we would have poured some of these because these are really, really, really nice. Very, very detailed. Oh, and let me... I almost bought a ruler today at the Dollar Tree, but then I thought, no, I've got that tape measure down here. I don't need a ruler. And now I don't know what I do with the tape measure. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is like five and a half, the whole mold. But the actual angel part is right at five inches. Five inches long. And about two and a half inches across for each angel. Oh, let me go ahead and, and I'll measure this one too. So you can see the actual the actual piece. I'm not measuring the part around it. I'm actually I'm measuring the actual piece. That's five and a half inches long by about three inches across. Ah, look at that scroll, scroll work. Now I'm going to have to take that one out so you can see it, I bet. No, you can see it pretty good through there. That's really cool. I think my next video is going to be my it, when the polyurethane resin comes in. Oh, look at look at that. Okay, we're gonna open that one. Oh, I didn't I didn't measure this. About four inches. About three and a half to four inches. Yeah, because you can't really tell if you can't really see the detail. I'll take the package. I'll take it out of the package. But on some of these, you can really see the detail with it being in the package. Very soft. Very, very soft mold. But matte. Oh, this is disappointing. It is so matte on the inside. That is disappointing. But it's very pretty. And I guess I could pour one and shine it up really good with my... Uh, gloss lacquer and then make another mold I I yeah I still like that mold a lot okay and I need to take that one out because you can't see the whole thing but I think I'll try to keep this intact So I can put it back in. See the scroll, scroll work? I can't hardly say that word. That is actually very, very nice. I'm never going to get this back in, am I? Positive, Beth, positive. Yeah, it's just going to slide right back in there. Boop! Yep, look at there. Well, the bag split, but... It's still in the back. Okay. Oh my. Oh, this is this is a gorgeous mold. And y'all know that I like these molds. They're like IOD molds. And for all of y'all that don't know IOD, it's Iron Orchid Designs is what it stands for. They've been around forever. Uh, very good company. Very good company. And are these dupes? Well, yes, they are. Um... But if I can buy one of these, I buy some of their molds too. I've got some of their, you've seen their, um, the ones. But if I can buy these for $8 versus 20, you know, $28, I, 
I got to go this route. And these are not the newest ones, okay? You can't get the newest ones when they come out. These are several years old. They may even be retired where you can't even buy them anymore. Because they do have a lot of them that are retired where the only place you can find them are off of Etsy and those are used and you're still paying $20 for the used ones. And I don't really need to open this because you can see the detail in this. And it tells you exactly how much you need for each one. But look at, I mean, this mold is exquisite. If this is something that you think you would use, this is a very, very, very nice mold. And I do plan on making a mold out of this because... There's pieces like these right here and this right here where I'm going to want more than one, probably four at a time. So I'm going to do it so where my mold has got at least uh, two, if not all four, in one mold. Because they're thin enough where it wouldn't take a whole lot uh, to even lay them down and, and make four in a mold. And then see you have this border. But it, the detail is just... And see the little tiny roses? And and the detail is incredible in these. I mean, yeah. Uh, and I think I got this from the same... Uh, no, that's that. Unless... Yeah, this is not the same uh, one that I normally get them from. Oh, and just to let you know, this piece right here, that measures from corner to corner, that measures about almost six and a half inches across, not quite, but a little bit more than six and a fourth inches going across. And height-wise, it's like two, it's like two and a half inches height-wise. Just to give you some kind of idea. These are not small little tiny, which you can tell. Oh, we have so many. So, so many. Here's another scrolly. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. When when I start thinking about projects and, and when I can get these for like 87 cents to $1.24 cents and I go through there... Uh, I mean, look at, look at the detail. You see every one of those little, that's some detail right there. I love these molds. And uh, there's a word for it. Is it barbecue? No, I'm not saying that right, but, uh. Something like that. It's it's B A R Q U Q U E. I think B A R O Q U E. Look at this picture frame. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm in love with this thing. Look at that picture frame. Look at there. Did I not put... Oh, I did not turn my other light on. Hold on. Yeah, I wonder why it was so dark looking. Did that help? Oh, yeah, that does help. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh, it just fell. Oh, it just came off the table. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I don't have time to... Let me see if I can just prop it up right there. Yeah, I really like that, too.
I'm not quite sure. Are these the same ones I got before? Yeah, these are the same ones I got before. Which is okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to pour them without uh, bubbles. I've not tried the sunflower yet. And these, of course, are leaves. And you can see those through the, the package. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, wow, that's big. Why is it so thick? Okay. What are they calling this thing? Just a number. Wow. Oh, this is the lion head, y'all. Look how thick that is. Can you see it? Can you see the lion's head? Oh, look at the teeth. Oh, I hope y'all can see that. I'm bringing it up even further. Do you see that? Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. Yeah, you see the teeth. Oh, my word. Oh, that is, that is crazy right there. Okay. Oh, this is a different one. Y'all don't leave comments saying you can't see what I'm doing. I know that I've got it on two, but you don't need to see me taking it out of the package. Okay, that's what it looks like, but I'm, I'm going to bring it up so you can see the detail. Because that's where the magic happens. It's in the detail. You see the detail of that? You see all the little cuts. All the little... Ooh, boy, that's that's thin. Ooh, ooh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Play peekaboo. I want to see how thin that is. Wait a minute, let's see. Wow, okay, yeah. You see how thin that is? You can, you can see the glitter. You can see the glitter in the bird through the bottom of that. But the detail is really, really nice. And I will probably be making a mold of my own and making it a little bit thicker. Because that's not going to last very long. Look at the center. See, that's that's the back side of it. But that is a, uh, an incredible mold right there. And I so want to pour all this stuff. What is this? That's open. That's not a good sign. I don't like it when my molds are open, especially these big ones that are expensive. What is, oh, this is the... Uh, it's not porcupine. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Say. Can you tell the, the little face? That one was open, so. And it's a little potter thing. Plant. Planter. Which I wish it was a little bit bigger that way. That's not big enough for a planter right there. Something tells me this was returned. I don't know. Uh, but we'll pour it if I don't like it. And and we may pour that today because I can pour that with uh, the mixed mold. 
and uh, we can see what that looks like. Depending on how this video is going to be probably too super long. Oh yeah, it's already over an hour. Ooh, those are nice. You see the detail? Boy, the lighting is bad on here. Can you see it now? Let me take it out of the, the package. I'm trying not to cut it because I'm trying to keep the fat out of it. Yeah, the detail is really, really nice in this. And those are Japanese maple leaf before anybody says anything. And they're actually very pretty trees. And if you've never seen one before, uh, Google them. Because they are very pretty. And I know the, the leaves very commonly get mistaken for the other type of leaf. I've got two of these now, which is okay. This is the mold. I don't have to take that out of the package. That's the mold that I did. I'll show you the, the piece. I still hadn't done anything with it. It's that one. That. It's that one. Which I I love that. I, yeah. That was done with a lightweight um, diamond glitter UV resin. Okay, let's see what this one is. This is three molds in a set. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about this one. I hope this one... Y'all know I love detailed seashells. Look at that. Look at that. The light keeps going in and out, and I don't understand why, because I keep locking it on my phone. Okay. To give you some kind of reference point. And so, all three of these came together. And, oh, these are perfect. These are little enough. See, I'll show you with my finger. These are little enough to use inside but with the detail, look at the detail in this. Oh my word! Oh yeah, we're we're pouring this with red, uh, uh, casting powder. I mixed a mold. Uh, we're we're pouring this today. I want y'all to see. Oh my word! Oh my goodness gracious! I really wish my polyurethane resin had gotten here in time. That's a great. The, this is a great mold, y'all. This is a great set. Now, I'm not too impressed with this one. Uh, I can see where uh, it could come in handy, but the detail is not in there like that one is. That one's incredible. And I can see using this one because it's different. It's different seashells. Oh, but this one is by far the best. And this one is great, too. And they're all different sizes from the ones, you know, that I showed you the other day that I actually poured. These, are they still back here? Now, I've already put those up. <clears throat> that was a great set. Oh, this is nice, too. Oh, yeah. that see the detail in there 
These are all really nice molds. Oh my goodness, y'all. And this one right here. I'm purposely trying not to cut them. Oh goodness. That's what, I know it's blurry, but I want you to see the detail and then I'll bring it back out. I mean, the detail in this is, is just lovely. Let me pull it back out. Okay. And maybe that's better anyway right there. Okay, and they just keep on coming. Okay, y'all can see that. I've, I've uh, actually have this one already. It's a flower. Uh, it's got a lot of detail, so you have to pour it with something really thin. A very thin resin or a very thin... It works really well with casting powders because they're really... Well, if you mix them thin enough... I've seen a lot of people, they mix them way too thick, thinking that it has to be that thick, and, it, and, and they don't. And that's a rose. I only paid 97 cents for this. And I thought, oh, I'll get it and see what it looks like. And I really wish I could pour some of these for y'all. I know it makes a difference if you see the actual thing poured. Versus, here's another one of those. I'm not going to take this off. Because you can sort of tell what it looks like. Oh, but I love these. But this is the thing right here. Now, for what I'm going to do them with, I'm going to be forming these around different things. And so I can't just pour a bunch of them and let them get hard. And then I, I've got to do this as I need it so it can go directly on the piece. So I can bend it to the piece. And here, oh, but look at, can y'all see the detail in that? No, I'm taking it out. Because the detail is really nice. And they're all a little different. You see the detail in that? And these are great to use. I mean, you could do these. You could use these to decorate to put accents on your trays, on your plates that you make, on boxes on jars on they just add another dimension to your pieces yeah they're still coming What is that? Oh, wow. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was. That's the Oriental Lady. That's a whole lot smaller than I thought it was. Which is okay. Because that means it will go on uh, as accent pieces. Hmm. <clears throat> This is all one set. And some of it I had already, but it was such a good price. Uh, so I got them. Frame. I have this one. And these again look really great on jars. 
<coughs> or trays. A little frame. That's a lion's head, too. That's really cool. Well, I'm hoping maybe my uh, polyurethane resin will be here tomorrow. And maybe I can do a video pouring some of these. Don't want to pour a whole lot of them because a lot of these I can't use. Uh, until the piece is ready. But you'll see these in future. You see that little stamp right there? You see that on a mold, you know you've got a good quality mold. Every really good mold I have, that stamp is only on the really good ones. Now, can you see how you could use that? That would look cool on a side of a jar or as accents on picture frames or even a piece like this like my letter L I could have that going up or going down or yeah that's just a, a really cool accent piece to have and here's some more of the, uh, I call them act architectural details. That's what I call all this stuff. I'm going to put it back in. Okay. Yep, it's still coming, y'all. And this is the bigger uh, flower, I think. Yeah, this is a bigger sunflower. But it looks matte. Yeah, it's definitely matte. that I don't remember getting a regular round coaster I need a set of four coasters Let's... I don't remember ordering this at all I can't see why I would have I don't remember this Unless this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Oh, hold on. I hope that's not what I think it is now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to my TMU order. Yep. It's that one. Can you see it? Why is my phone doing weird stuff? I thought I got that one. Oh, it happens a lot. Okay, maybe I got both of them. Okay. Let's 
This is more of the architectural. You could use these in your other molds too. So I can't get really close up because then it starts blurring out. I can only get close up if I do that. And then you can really see the detail. But then it blurs out down here. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot about getting this one. Y'all know I love owls. I love pretty much any animal. But bird. But can you see that? I'm going to hold it down so you can see it. But then I'm going to bring it up. Oh, see the design? I mean, look. That's the closest thing to my Zuri mold. It really is. That's very close. So, yeah, and I will measure this one for y'all. The actual piece not not the whole mold but the actual piece is about five and a half inches by four inches oh that is lovely i am happy with that mold Can't get it back in. Oh. There it goes. Okay. Oh wow, I don't remember that one either. Which means it's a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. That's what happens when you buy stuff a month. Uh, you buy stuff and then you get it a month later. Okay, yeah, it is smaller than what I thought it was going to be. But I still think, if it pours, because it's so T90. It's the big, what's that bird called? With that big, long tail. It's like an oriental type. Sorry, y'all. Can you see it? Why is it blurring out now? There it goes. The detail. And those are roses down in there. And you see how tiny they are. Because that's my finger. That's the head of the bird. I mean, my whole finger is almost the whole body part of the bird. So to Just to give you some kind of idea. <clears throat> okay, and I'm bringing it back down. Oh, I don't know what this one is either. Tells me it's smaller than what I thought, too. Oh, that's the horse one. That's almost the size of a big belt buckle. Which I guess you could make belt buckles. Wow, that never crossed my mind until now. <clears throat> I wonder if you could find the stuff that goes on the back of the belt buckle to make it into a belt buckle. That would really be cool, actually. Hmm. Nope, the light's going down again. I got it propped up over here. 
And here's some more of these. That's got like the little scalloped uh, piece in the middle. <clears throat> oh, this is nice. Yeah, I got the bigger plate too. I got the smaller one and the bigger one. And then I got this, and I've seen so many people with this mold. I, I hadn't seen it anywhere when I ordered it, but then after I ordered it, it was like everybody else got theirs. That's okay. We all do our own. <clears throat> Uh, version of mold, so. but it's this one, and I know this will be a good seller, and that's the reason why I bought it. And I did have a plan on how exactly how I wanted to do it, and I've not seen anybody do it so far, so. Um, but that's that one. And that was almost an $8 mold right there. And then, let's see, is this it? Let me see if that's all of them. Yep. So we've got... I'll open that one because I don't remember what that one was. I'm still not sure what this is. Hmm. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> what is this? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not seeing it. Those look like feathers. Let me look, because I don't, I don't know. This is going to take me a minute, y'all. So I've got so many. Okay, it's not on that one. So it must be on this one. Oh, wow. No, I don't see that. It's supposed to be that one. Do you see that? Okay, that's that. Oh, I see it now. Oh, I do see it. That's a horse. That's a face. That's its head. That's going down. That's the, the person and the wings. Okay. Boy, I, I, yeah. Okay. Did I get two of these? I think this is a little bit different. That thing. That's weird right there. Why is that thing sticking? 
And is this glossier? This may be a little bit shiny. Oh, this is a daisy. The other one was a sunflower. This is a daisy. Okay. And the last one was a set. And yes, I know I have some of these. But because I'm making so many of them, I didn't mind. And this one of mine is getting sort of, uh, I've used it over and over again. I like the fact that, see, this was in there to keep it from, that's what every mold needs to have on it still. Like that. But it's, it's the, so you can do this. You can make the candle uh, for the tray. And it came together. And that is it. And because this is an hour and 31 minutes long, that's how I'm going to leave this. Um, tomorrow's video, I'll be pouring some of these and showing you uh, some of the uh, the molds. Hopefully my uh, resin will be in. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for uh, being so supportive of my channel. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you shout out to every one of y'all. Uh, I couldn't do it without you, and I know it, so thank you. Um, Please, as always, uh, hit the like, thumbs up button for me. If you liked it and would like to share it with someone, uh, hit the share button. That helps tremendously. And, uh, of course, if you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. And the notification bell allows you to know when I've got a new one up. I'm trying desperately to do one uh, every day. But, you know, sometimes life happens and, and I, it's just not possible. And, uh, uh, the Facebook group, I would love to build our Facebook group up. Uh, I would love to see each and every one of you over there. Uh, we've got so many subscribers and, uh, not e even an eighth of y'all are on the Facebook group. Uh, I want to say half of what we got on the Facebook group is from Facebook, not even the YouTube channel. So, uh, the link for that is in the description below, and I would love to see you over there. All you have to do is click the link. There's three silly little questions that you have to answer, and you're automatically approved, unless you don't answer the questions, and then it goes to me. Um, and if I don't get there fast enough, then Facebook's administrative assistant that they put on these groups, it's like an AI, okay? It's a computer-generated thing. Uh, they automatically decline you because you didn't answer those three silly questions. And uh, please note, I, I never, I will never decline anybody. So if that ever happens to you, it's Facebook's uh, computer-generated thing. And then just send me a message. And But if you don't answer the questions within an hour, if I don't see it before an hour then uh, they automatically decline you. So if that happens, please just contact me. Um, or go back and, you know, try to rejoin and just answer the questions. That That is the issue uh, right there. All righty. Uh, I want to say so long. And I hope everyone is doing uh, well. Uh, better than well, actually. I hope y'all are doing fantastic. Um I try to, even on days that, uh, uh, you know, that go horribly wrong, and I know we all have those days, uh, I still try to find something positive. Even if it's just one thing positive, it seems to help me tremendously. And it sort of puts everything in perspective for me. So I, I wish that for each and every one of you, too. And... Uh, I want to say thank you again, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a great night.